What if you're looking for an aquatic adventure with a competitive edge? Why not try water skiing? No, not like this. Like this. On the open ocean, the way they do it at the annual Catalina Water Ski Race. Catalina Ski Race, the granddaddy of them all. Uh, it is just the greatest race in the world. It's a 62 mile open ocean water ski race that goes from Long Beach Harbor to Catalina Island and back. The race is number seven on our list and it's just about the fastest fun you can have on the water. I like to go fast and actually it's kind of funny because I'm more comfortable on my ski than I am inside the boat. The annual water ski race started in 1949. Back then, there were five contestants and two finishers. My dad skied the Catalina ski race in 1958, 59, and 60. After I was born, uh, my mom took up high speed racing also, and then she skied, she skied this race um, two or three times, I think, as well. Nowadays, early one Sunday each summer, about 100 boats and skiers roar off from the Queen Mary and head straight out for Catalina Island's Avalon Harbor. We have a number of Australians, we've had South Africans, we have Belgium coming, we have a group from England coming, so it is definitely a worldwide race. The racers torque around the official turnboat and race back. Total distance, 62 miles. Best time so far, just over 52 minutes. How do they go so fast? Well, okay, they've got those big powerful boats. Aerodynamic skis help too. But here's the real trick. Notice the skiers aren't holding on to the rope the way you used to at summer camp. They're doing it Australian style, with the tow line wrapped around the center of gravity. The skier can turn the ocean into the Autobahn. They will reach speeds upwards of 80 to 90 miles an hour on smooth water because the record is 52 minutes at 62 miles. You can't constantly go 62 miles an hour to do it in one hour. So you have to go fast when it's smooth and slower when it's rough. With Southern California weather like this, how rough can it get? People ask me how rough it is. I tell them if you open the washing machine at home and look in it, that's how rough the water is. Getting the water at one-tenth the speed of sound can be like getting a face full of pavement. We wear neck rolls, we wear hard crash helmets. Um, most of the skiers wear gloves and goggles just so you can see going those kind of speeds. Um, padded flotation wetsuits that we wear, so if you do fall, all of these things will help try and avoid injury. There's no big money for winning, and a lot of competitors are just in it for the adventure. The oldest racer to finish the course was in his 70s. The youngest was seven. However old you are, if you like the combination of water and speed, the Catalina Water Ski Race is the place to be. We build it as the greatest ski race in the world. We feel it is. I've been to several others around the world, and we have surpassed them. The Catalina Water Ski Race is the oldest and largest in the world, and is number seven on our wet and wild list.